So I'm Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. This is chapter 13. When we last left off, we were just entering uh, the Temple of Mithras. And we're trying to figure out this puzzle. I believe the way I want to go is straight, judging by the hierarchy I have here. But to find out, if I die, I die. But I believe this is the way I want to go. Looks to be about right. And we didn't fall, so that's cool. Okay. So I want to go this way next. I just got to follow the... Uh, the initiation grade patterns. I don't know what I'm doing here, but okay. So there's scales, so I have to balance the scales. That was completely luck, by the way. Okay, so we just came from that one. So it's either helmet or helmet. It's a helmet, so straightforward. I'm sure we die a horrible death if we go the wrong, wrong way. I'm gonna try not to. That's the way we want to go. Yeah, it is. It's water down here. Okay, so after that, I want to go that way. After that, I want to go that way. Last one I do is that, so it's either sword, hat, or thing. Hat, okay. Is that a dead end? That's obviously the way I'm supposed to go. I just want to know. It's a dead end, okay. Alright, Watson, let's go up this way. Watson, I need your help. Ah, it's one of these puzzles, okay. So that was over here. Of course, there's three to choose from on here. Let's go middle. I think that kind of blocks me out, doesn't it? This 
mechanism seems inactive. Most likely the door it controls has already been opened. What does this other one do then? The other one opens the gate, but I can't get to the gate yet. It really doesn't matter having the gate open if I can't get over there. So I have to do this one next. I don't think I can get to Watson right now, no. Why don't I just do this? Thing? Is not old. The oil is still fresh. Perhaps Sir Rodney passed by here. No, I do not think so. Remember, he went no further than the catacomb underneath the frigidarium. The murderer left this lamp. The golden knife of Mithras. A long lost relic has resurfaced. Watson, it is time to conclude this case. Now, we should find another way of getting out of here. All right. I need to hit this one because I need to hit the far left one on the three. This mechanism seems inactive. Most likely the door it controls. I cannot leave Holmes trapped here alone, even though he did ruin my favorite handkerchief. Okay, so then I get Holmes to... Okay, turn around. Fuck, man. Sometimes the fucking, like, movement is just stupid. So it's this side. Okay, I didn't even know that there was this uh, lever on the other side. I can let go, and then I can just get Watson to open the door from the other side.
Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras? There we go. Feel like I'm still missing some information. Scotland Yard, we go. Somebody will know about this book. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about Mithras. The paintings in the baths are focused on Mithras, I understand. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? You mean the curse? Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. <laughs> Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about Mithras. What can you tell me about Mithras? Oh, so much. It was the core of our work. Why do you ask? Were you seeking the golden knife? Ah, I see you are an amateur. Yes, the golden knife was our grail. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. I understand. I read something about immortality. A myth. Uh, the knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one. And yet it is cursed. And it would kill you if you were not initiated. Well, tell me about the golden knife, then. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary. Uh, and we had hoped that... Oh, it is a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Mr. Garo still doesn't fit. I don't know what it is. Tell me about Mithras. Perhaps you could explain the cult of Mithras to me. No, there is nothing to say. We, we, we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was? He was wrong. I, I have visions. The golden knife, the, the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm down, Mr. Garo.
That's one of the theories here. But if we say that he just had a weakness instead. So we have one of three ideas here. That Garrow killed him in a fit of obsession. That Blinkhor killed him in abuse of power. Or that Pitkin killed him to conceal the discovery. It's a tough one. I want to say that it's Garo, but Garo, the only problem with it being Garo is the fact that we know someone had found where the knife is. Garo doesn't want to go near the knife, so he doesn't have that kind of um, motive. Now, if we said it was Pitkin... He would have killed Rodney to stop the excavation, but he doesn't know where the knife is. It... I want to say it's Blinkhorn, and the only reason I say it's Blinkhorn is because we found the, uh, the lantern in the site. This is a hard one for me. I don't think Pitkin did it at all. I just don't see... I don't see a reason why. I want to say Garo did it because of obsessiveness. But the problem is, like I said, someone was in... In the, the resting place of the knife. We had found the... Um, the lantern. It was broken. The only person that could have been there was Blinkhorn. Garrow doesn't want anything to do with it, and Pitkin wouldn't know that much. It has to be Blinkhorn. And it makes sense, too, because we do have a document. That was stating Sir Rodney almost found it and there's another document here somewhere stating that he was gonna go
I feel like we might get this one wrong, but I'm going to have to say it's Blinkhorn. If we hadn't have found the... Uh... If we hadn't have found the lantern, the evidence kind of points to... Uh... Garrow. But like I said, we know someone had seen the the knife too. It has to be blink one. It's my final answer. I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? I fear that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable, for you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You... The are... consulting detective who salutes your intelligence in performing the perfect crime, yes. But also the gentleman who detests your motivation. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that the golden knife? How... I also like to dig, you see. I only followed your trail. Such a pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? And there was the chance of a lifetime. You had to take it. It was not to be shared. It... Oh. But now I am here, and there is no one who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn. Goodbye. You know what? I'm confident in our answer, and this is why. He had access to the mold. He knew that if he used an ice knife, it would dissolve. Like I said, I'm I'm almost positive he was the one that was down there. I'm going to hit... We were right. Look at that. Found all the clues, and we were right about the conclusion. And this is why. Let me elaborate here. Blinkhorn had to be the one to do it because... Pitkin just doesn't have a motive. I, I don't see Pitkin uh, not benefiting from any of this, right? Like, if Rodney makes the discovery, then it only makes the baths that much more possible, or possible, profitable. So it doesn't make sense to get rid of uh, Rodney as he's helping. He's making it better. I wanted to say Garrow for the longest time because a lot of evidence pointed to him, but the more we learned... Especially when we hit the excavation on site, the less likely it appeared to be. Garrow is supposed to be a psych psychologist, no, um, counselor. And for him, he would have had to go out to St. Albion, find this mold, reconstruct it, think that a nice ice knife would have been the perfect thing to use because it would have dissolved, used it, and then furthermore, found the, the resting place of the knife and you know stop there whereas blinkhorn i was really i believed him at first i i really truly thought that you know he he rather relished in the fact that rodney was here but it kind of changed perspective as soon as we'd found the um the lantern like i said the lantern was the the key to it all because that means that someone had been there before Rodney, because it it wasn't Rodney. We we knew that. So, like I said, we were right about the Blinkhorn thing. So that's what, two for three? And it, real quick, I wanted to uh, elaborate on our first case there too, because I watched those videos back. I knew it in my gut that um, Karen's was the murderer. I couldn't prove it in the deduction theory because I, I didn't line it up correctly. And uh, that was my first case with the whole deduction thing, right? So now that I'm a little bit more used to using the de the the, de 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 the deduction uh, system there, I'm obviously able to exploit all these different outcomes and figure out, you know, from there. But furthermore, even if I had stumbled upon the right outcome there, I would have definitely said it was Karen's because um, John didn't have a motive he was looking for stuff he didn't know for sure and Liam had a motive but you knew he wasn't going to act it out the only problem with it though is there was no substantial evidence 
it was all theoretical evidence. It was all like, yeah, Patrick's tobacco thing was found there, but that doesn't mean he killed him. It just means he was there. Then you have to say, okay, he was a former harpooner, which means he definitely knows how to use one. Again, yes, that makes perfect sense. But you got to think, we don't have fingerprints. Well, in the, we'll, we'll say in this, this theory, we don't have fingerprints, so we can't prove it was Patrick. Don't really have a motive. I mean, you can establish one, but it's all theoretical again, of course. And like I said, the pouch is the only thing that places him there, but it doesn't mean that he kills him. But Blinkhorn knew of Bentcliffe's intention to take all of the credit for the discovery of the golden knife. He, desi- he devised a cunning plan that would not only eliminate his rival, but would award him the fame of discovery. He used a handmade ice maker to create an ice made reproduction of the golden knife of Mithras, carried it to the steam room in an ice bucket with champagne, and then, after the murder, dropped the knife onto the floor, allowing it to dissolve into water. The rope is a fitting punishment. Looks like 76% of people got that right and 69% of people made that same choice. He definitely made it in clear conscience. You know what he was doing. He knows what he was doing. I feel like that was, you know, fair to say. The Abbey Grange Affair. The game is afoot. Not a word. Into your clothes and come. I'll wait for you in the sitting room. I've just received a note from Inspector Lestrade. A letter from the suburbs. He is in need of my presence. Whenever he has asked for my assistance, it has always turned out to be entirely justified. I fancy that every one of his cases has found its way into your collection. Uh, Yes, they all seem worthy of... However, I regret your fatal habit of looking at everything from the point of view of a story instead of a scientific exercise. Oh, Holmes, you... I beg your pardon, I digress. It would be much better to examine this letter than to try to convince you. I swear to God, if I see that chick across the window, of course. She's always fucking there. <laughs> I don't even know why I look through the fucking telescope anymore. I agree anymore. with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe... The letter is on the table, Holmes. You should take a look. I was talking to Toby. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. A wax seal with the monogram E.B. The Brackenstall family coat of arms. I can tell from Lestrade's handwriting that he was in a hurry when he wrote this letter. Abbey Grange, Marsham, Kent, 3.30 a.m. My dear Mr. Holmes, I should be very glad of your immediate assistance in what promises to be a most remarkable case. It is something quite in your line. Except for releasing the lady, I will see that everything is kept exactly as I have found it. But I beg you not to lose an instant, as it is difficult to leave Sir Eustace there. Yours faithfully, Inspector Lestrade. So, what is it, Holmes? Promising, as always. It appears to be a case of murder. So you believe that Sir Eustace is dead? I should say so. Lestrade wouldn't have sent for me for less. His writing shows considerable agitation, and he is not an emotional man. These people belong to high society. The quality of the writing paper, the E.B. monogram, their coat of arms. The crime was committed before midnight. Holmes, how can you possibly tell? Well, it is all thanks to Lestrade. He wrote his letter.